together at uh, the Enterprise to Summit in Paris, together with Fernando Birman from uh, Solvay and uh, Miguel Membrado from uh, Keymind. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? So you're from Solvay. Uh, what are you doing at Solvay? I'm the leader of the digital office. We are a small cell starting a uh, new project in di with digital technologies. We are facilitating the digital transformation of the group. And you, Miguel, uh, you are f uh, the managing director from Keymind, but what is Keymind about? Uh, so Keymind is a company uh, specialized in change management uh, about uh, collaborative uh, environments. And uh, we are focused on uh, helping companies to uh, change their mindset and uh, uh, gain productivity thanks uh, to collaborative uh, environments. So you, you just had your presentation, uh, a case study of, of a project that you did together with Keymind. Uh, what was the idea of? So it's a transformation process uh, within Solvay, uh, going the digital transformation journey or following the transformations journey. Um, what was the problems and the, uh, uh, the, the context and the, the motivations to, to do this program? It's uh, this project is w one of the uh, one of the parts of the digital transformation. It's one brick of the digital transformation. When we started the digital office, trying to organize the digital transformation, we real realized that uh, the collaboration inside the company wasn't uh, that uh, m mature. It wasn't so advanced. We we have a perception that we we could improve it. And the idea was to create a culture where people share more things, where people uh, co-create more things. So a culture when people exchange and collaborate much more. That's the idea. Okay, so uh, and, and Keymind came into this uh, project to help on this journey. Uh, how did you perceive the, 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 um, the issue or the, 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 the task of this project? Yes, in, in fact, we uh, saw so Fernando and his team uh, approach us uh, about uh, our methodology because uh, uh, Get Collaboration on our methodology is, is uh, really uh, focused to help companies to do the change of transformation, not about uh, training on tools, but about how to improve the business processes, the da daily life business processes. And it's uh, what uh, were interesting uh, Solvay because they had experience about trainings and things like this, but not with uh, a lot of uh, re results. And uh, it is not in us. So we focus on, on this business transformation and uh, it, it has been really very interesting because little by little uh, we, we were very uh, deeply in the day-to-day uh, uh, -day organization. And uh, even uh, through uh, transformation seminars we, we did in, uh, worldwide, in Brazil, in uh, uh, China, in uh, uh, Seoul, uh, etc., we, we were in plants. And it was very interesting for this because uh, it was not only white colors, but also blue colors uh, uh, involved in, in the transformation. So, in fact, we, we, we noticed and we, uh, we, we accompanied the, the company little by little in the transformation or very deep transformation in, in the change. At the end, we, we had 80% of the result of business process transformed, which is uh, amazing, in fact, in this kind of uh, uh, mission. You you just uh, uh, mentioned in your presentation also the uh, talked explained a little bit about the process. So you you start with a pilot group, with a small pilot group, and then expanded this group to a group of 200 people, around 200 people, and different business units uh, uh, in specific business units. So yeah, please explain. Right. We focus in one business unit because in this process you you need uh, something that uh, is a top-down approach. You you need the sponsorship, the engagement of all the leaders. That's the reason we we picked one GBU and we started with the leaders of the GBU. Uh, the GBU stands for Global Business Unit, and then we enhanced this group. We we added a uh, hundred of people, and then we reached the whole business unit. That it's quite a vertical approach. What was the um, uh, the selection parameter of the business group? So uh, why did you choose that one, and which one did you choose? Yeah, because uh, as I mentioned, we need a kind of commitment, engagement from the leader, and this leader was 
uh, willing to uh, implement this kind of thing. He embraced the idea as soon as I presented it. So uh, once I found it, well, I, I selected it him. Recently. Yes, it was very natural. So, uh, and how was the, uh, how was the the process then? On because a lot of uh, collaboration projects always uh, have the issue of uh, uh, bringing out the transformation in scale. So, so uh, really bringing it out to the masses. So certainly you can work with pilot groups and uh, and enable them, but bring it to 200 and more people, it's quite difficult. So, uh, what are, what is what are the, the key levels for for doing this? So what we have done, and this is the core of our methodology, and we have experimented really here with amazing results, is that first we start with a first set of people, 25 people, to, to, to audit all the business practices in, in, the, in, the, in the GBU, then experiment this in, in real life, so with 100 people. So having these 100 people really transforming their daily process usages for three to two, four months, and with a, a real uh, uh, result, then collecting the feedback and the return of experience of all these transformations to uh, prepare the next phase, and the next phase is a transformation phase, it can be uh, viral in fact, uh, but we can go to uh, going, going to do a seminar, transformation seminars, five days of transformation seminar, we can go anywhere in, in, in the world to support because it is a, a global uh, GBU, and uh, just with these five days of transformation seminars, but because we have done the previous phase, we can convert any uh, group of people. So in these uh, transformation seminars, for example, we have 50 people, 50 people attending uh, this uh, transformation seminar, and then the uh, usage is propagated uh, everywhere in, in the plant where, where we have. So in fact, uh, directly we transformed uh, 300 people directly, but now, indirectly, there is much more people transformed thanks to these uh, 300 people directly uh, touched by uh, the, the program. So it's kind of a distributed transformation. It is a distributed transformation, but to have this viral uh, effect, you need, of course, to, to provide uh, all the material. And this material, you, you, you cannot, we, we cannot provide it ourselves. Uh, it, it needs to be created with our help, but created by the people themselves. And the people themselves are creating little by little their own material. And like this, we can, uh, based on this material and, and these uh, success stories, business processes change, uh, we can spread uh, globally to uh, all the GBU. So, uh, what was the e evaluation of the results so far? So, it, it sounds very successful, certainly. Uh, are there any issues and uh, do, you, do you see any challenges to do better in transforming more of the company? Oh, I, I have just met the leaders of the business unit and they are very satisfied. In fact, uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, in the beginning, my, my targets were mostly qualitative. I didn't expect a lot of efficiency and productivity gains. Honestly, uh, it was an extra for me. I, I, I expected to, to start transforming a company, the, uh, to start creating a company uh, with a very good environment, a very good place to work. That was our initial target. And finding a lot of productivity gains was really a surprise and they found hours they saved it hours a lot of people saving hours uh, of work so it was really impressive what i al already uh, asked you this question uh, what is the final idea or vision of this project so uh, uh, will it be a s or when is the end point for this project I would like to, to realize a couple of them. So uh, I would like to deploy the same kind of thing in a, a few more GBUs. Uh, we have to respect that uh, business units sometimes they are busy with a merger and acquisition or things like, like this for, that consumes a lot of time. So we respect this. We cannot impose. The, the business unit has to embrace it and to dedicate a lot of time. So that's the reason we are waiting to start a new one 
because once we start, we need their commitment. We need that they dedicate to this process. Because we are talking about change, and it's not about using a tool or a set of tools. It's about changing behaviors, changing the way we work. So it's something very serious. That's the reason we have to give time uh, to find some other GBU uh, ready to, to, to implement it. But will there be a, a, a some point in time when your task is achieved? Well, I, I don't think so. We are, uh, it's a journey, not a destination. So I think it's a, a continuous process. And uh, I think in two years, maybe Miguel will find another way to improve even more the, the way we work. So uh, the tools, the technology, it, it, it changes every day. So we have to adapt. And uh, in two years from now, maybe we'll do a different project more adapted to the reality of 2020, for example. Great. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, and thank you as well. Thank you for the thank invitation. You.